cold yet? Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Have you been out sledding or building forts or anything like that? started a special journey in our church called Advent, okay? And one of the things that we do every year is called the hanging of the greens. Now, why do you think that's important in the church? Well, first of all, what are the greens? What did we hang? church life forever, 
was one of the first people to really kind of decorate the Christmas tree. And the story goes that one night he was walking home and he saw a whole, the sky was just, there was no clouds and it was just beautiful and brilliant. The moon was shining and there was a whole bunch of stars. And he saw all of these stars and all of this light come through a bunch of pine trees while he was walking home, these evergreens. And so he was so inspired by this picture that he saw on his walk home that he went and got a Christmas tree, put it in his house, and then, crazy enough, he took wire and wrapped candles and lit candles and put them on the Christmas tree. Now, does that seem like a very safe thing to do? No. Exactly. But that's kind of some of the crazy things they did before they had electricity. All right? So there, there's your history lesson for today, okay? I was supposed to have a special ornament for you, but I left them all in Wabern, and I hope not all the old people, old adults, took the stuff from me up there, because I think they were more excited to make the ornaments than the young disciples up there. So hopefully I have one for you all next week, and you can bring them down here and um, you can make one, and you can either put it on your tree at home, or I'll even let you put them on the Christmas tree up there, okay? All right, well, let's pray today, and you guys can go have a seat. So, dear Heavenly Father, right now, we just come, and we thank you and praise you for this group of young disciples, and we thank you for all of the amazing things you're doing in their lives. Lord, we thank you for the journey that each and every one of them is on, and Lord, we just pray as a church we would help them along that journey, that we would come alongside them and be able to teach and to guide them where we are able. Lord, just bless them this week as they go out and help them to have an amazing Advent and Christmas season. In Jesus' name, amen.